determination of relative density of cohesionless soil as per IS 2720 part 14 1983 specification. Contents of this video Part 1 Theory Part 2 Field application of relative density Part 3 Laboratory test Part 4 Determination of relative density with calculation Part 1 Theory What is relative density? The term relative density is commonly used to indicate the in situ denseness or looseness of cohesionless soil. It is defined as ratio of the difference between the water ratio of a cohesionless soil in the loosest state and any given water ratio to the difference between its water ratio in the loosest state and in the densest state. Mathematically, relative density expressed in terms of water ratio as well as in density. Field application of relative density Foundation design Engineers use relative density to determine the suitability of a soil for supporting structure. High relative density indicates better compaction and load bearing capacity. Earthworks and construction Relative density help in designing proper compaction method during earthwork activities. It helps in achieving the desired soil density for buildings, roads, embankments and other infrastructures. Slope stability analysis. Loosely compacted soil with low relative density can lead to landslides or slope failures. Seismic analysis. In earthquake prone regions, the relative density of soil affects its response to seismic force. Soil with higher relative density generally provide better resistance to liquefaction during earthquake. Retaining walls and earth structure. Relative density help access the stability of retaining wall and other earth structure. Proper compacted soil reduces the risk of settlement and structural failure. Road and pavement design. Relative density affects the load bearing capacity of soil beneath roads and pavements. It helps engineer design resilience roadway that can withstand traffic load. Drainage and permeability. Relative density influence soil porosity, which affects water flow and drainage. Proper compacted soil with optimal water movement reduces sink the risk of erosion and flooding. Correlation of relative density with soil types. Relative density 0 to 15 percentage. Soil types very loose. Relative density 15 to 35 percentage. Soil types loose. Relative density 35 to 65 percentage. Soil types medium. Relative density 65 to 85 percentage. Soil types dense. Relative density 85 to 100 percentage. Soil types very dense. Part 3 Laboratory Test Apparatus required for the vibration table test First, vibration table A steel table about 75 cm by 75 cm The vibrator net mass over 45 kg Vibrator frequency about 3600 Vibration per minute Amplitude Variation between 0.05 and 0.65 mm power supply three phase system next apparatus are mold with guide sleeve surcharge base plates and surcharge mass select 
size of mold based on maximum size of particle present in soil sample. Other apparatus required are dial gauge with dial gauge holder, pouring device, weighting balance, a micrometer, metal straight edge and other trimming device. Calibration of mold. The volume of the mold should be determined by direct measurement or by using filling with water. Volume of mold by using direct measurement. Diameter of mold 150.53 mm. Height of mold 161.14 mm. Volume of the mold 2866.5 cm3. Process for the determination of minimum density. Oven dry soil should be used. The pouring device and mold should be selected according to the maximum size of particle. The mold should be weighted. And the mass record. Soil should be placed as loosely as possible in the mold by pouring the soil through the spout in steady stream. The spout should be adjusted so that the height of free fall of the soil is always 25 mm. While pouring the soil, the pouring device should be moved in spiral motion from the outside toward the center to a form soil layer of uniform thickness without segregation. The mold should be filled approximately 25 mm above the top and level with the top by making one continuous pass with the still straight edge. Process for the determination of maximum density. The maximum density may be determined by either dry method or wet method. In this video, the maximum density of cohesionless soil determined by using dry method. The mold field for the determination of minimum density may be used for this test. The guide sleeve should be attached to the mold and the surcharge base plate should be placed on the soil surface. The surcharge weight should then lower on the base plate using the hoist in the case of 15,000 cm3 mold. The mold should be fixed to the vibrator deck for assembly. The vibrator control should be set at maximum amplitude and the loaded soil specimen should be vibrate for 8 minutes. The surcharge weight and guide sleeve should be removed from the mold. The dial gauge reading on two opposite sides of the surcharge base plate should be obtained and the average record. The mold with the soil should be weighed and it mass record. Part 4 Calculation of Relative Density Calculation Step 1 Determination of Minimum Density of Cohesionless Soil
स्टेप टू डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ मैक्सिमम डेंसिटी ऑफ कोहेजन लेस सॉइल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ रिलेटिव डेंसिटी द फर्स्ट डिटरमाइन द डेंसिटी ऑफ सॉइल इन प्लेस बाय यूजिंग आई एस टू सेवन टू जीरो पार्ट ट्वेंटी एट Now the density index or relative density calculated as percentage below equation and the final relative density of cohesion less soil is 69.30 percentage